to the Trump presidency, and President Trump is on his way to Texas to rally his supporters for a border wall. He's threatened to shut down the government a second time if he doesn't get funding for it. Members of both sides of Congress are back at the negotiating table now after talks broke down over the weekend. CBS4's Natalie Brand takes a closer look. El Paso locals call this the borderland, and it's where President Trump will make another pitch for his border wall in front of supporters tonight. We can have technology, we can have beautiful drones flying all over the place, but it doesn't work without the wall. Presidential advisors say he'll make the case that border barriers work, and the proof is in El Paso, one of the safest cities in the country. The mayor of El Paso, also a Republican, says the city was safe before the barriers went up. He wants to make that point to the president and request more manpower to manage the influx of migrants. We need more uh, CBP in our bridges here. We have six bridges. They're not fully staffed. Over the weekend, supporters of the president's wall gathered near El Paso where an existing barrier ends to create a human border wall. A Democratic congressional delegation also visited El Paso. We met a mother who had just been reunited with her children last night after being separated for four months and seeing seeing her still crying and seeing her children trying to adjust to the situation. Back here in Washington, Republican and Democratic lawmakers are trying to revive stalled negotiations over border security. They'll need to pass a deal that the president will sign by Friday night in order to avert another shutdown. Talks broke down over the weekend over Democrats' demands to put a cap on the number of detention facility beds. They say they want the Trump administration to prioritize detaining immigrants with criminal records instead of families. But Republicans say ICE detains criminals and a cap would hinder that mission. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House.